AITA for embarrassing my friend at her baby shower? My friend Tiffany is what I considered an ally. While she is straight and white, she always appeared to care about civil rights issues. Posted about it on Facebook. Talked to me about it in person. Etc. She has always told me what a big deal this is because she was raised in a very conservative family. I am a lesbian. So knowing my friends or allies means a lot. Tiffany is pregnant and today was her baby shower. However, I also love to give books at showers as I'm a huge advocate for child literacy. I bought a couple of classics and added in a book called, Rainbow. A first book of pride. Which is a toddler book that just talks about what each color of the rainbow means and showcases. What different families look like. I've given it at other showers before so I didn't see the big deal. The shower was held at our friend, Marsha's, house. Tiffany was opening her gifts and got to mine. Everything was fine until she opened up the rainbow one. She got really quiet and started looking around. A few of her relatives were giving weird looks. Her mom, who was sitting next to her, took it and made a face saying the baby is too young for propaganda. I was a little hurt and pointed out that some people had purchased the baby religious-themed toddler. Books as well, I don't have a problem with that, but was confused as to how one was okay and others weren't. Marcia quickly made sure Tiffany got the next gift. I assumed it was over. While it hurt and was weird in the moment, I didn't wish to harp on it. I don't like Tiffany's mother. We've had issues in the past with her making weird, judgmental comments towards me. I don't need her to like me and considering she doesn't live close by. I can maintain a relationship with Tiffany without us seeing each other. Anyway, I stayed behind to help clean up the shower. When I was taking the trash out, Tiffany followed me outside. She thanked me for the gifts but said I shouldn't have gone off registry with the books. I said I had a gift receipt if she wanted to exchange them. She said that wasn't the issue. But she knew what kind of people would be at the shower and I embarrassed her by bringing the book. As well as challenging her mother. I pointed out that her mother should be embarrassed for mocking a gift. As that hurt my feelings. Tiffany says I know what her mom is like and I brought unnecessary drama to the shower. I said that she is the one who followed me outside. I had let the issue drop and that I only bought the book as a genuine gift for her baby. Something I assumed she and her husband would like. I pointed out several other people went off registry. Were they getting chastised? Tiffany said no, but they didn't get her anything embarrassing. I got upset all over again. Finished helping with the clean up but then left. Marcia texted me later saying I have to understand where Tiffany is coming from. Plus she's pregnant and hormonal. She told me to apologize for nearly ruining the shower. AITA? Edit. Since some people are asking if I did this as some kind of stunt. I did not do it to create drama or make anyone uncomfortable. It seriously didn't cross my mind that this would be an issue. Because Tiffany herself has always appeared to be pro-LGBTQ plus rights. I didn't see the big deal. I figured it'd be a good book for an Ali's library. I've always bought pro-LGBTQ plus children's books for baby showers and it's never been an issue. I wouldn't purposefully put any of my friends in an awkward situation. But they didn't get her anything embarrassing. I think that comment says a lot. NTA. NTA. It seems Tiffany has a double life she is an ally on a social media and with friends. But conservative bigot for a family. Unfortunately. It looks like she will be raising her child according to bigot option. NTA. Tiffany is not an ally. I'm sorry you found out this way. NTA. Tiffany is an ally when it's convenient. Which is not how a true ally behaves. The issue here wasn't that you went off registry. Lots of people go off registry at baby and wedding showers. 
especially when they're close to the recipients. The issue was that Tiffany is unwilling to have an uncomfortable conversation with her mother. It's her choice what kind of relationship she wants to have with her mom. But without that conversation her mother feels like everyone in the room agrees with her. This gives her free reign to make out like you're the problem. These people won't change. And perhaps more importantly, Tiffany will never defend you to her mother. Edit. Don't apologize. You did nothing wrong. NTA and she's not an ally. Honestly. Very soft YTA. You may think you dropped it. But I'm sure she'll hear about it. You are of course entitled to gift whatever. But knowing what her family is like. That was not the occasion to stir anything up. It was entirely predictable if her crazy family was going to be there that any similar gift would. Get a reaction. It was her baby shower. Just not the moment to forget that she has this conflict with her family. People manage to stay in contact with their family they don't agree with by avoiding contentious topics when they actually see them. BC overall they value seeing them. I don't think it makes her not an ally to want to enjoy her baby shower and keep the peace for a few hours. This is one of the best AITA I've seen in a while. I keep flipping back and forth. I accept that the book was given innocently. But at the same time family dynamics are very tricky. I will say that I disagree with people saying that Tiffany is not an ally just because she didn't start a fight her own baby shower. That isn't fair. I don't think Tiffany is necessarily not an ally, but she has to keep up with pressures and ties with her family. To say she should either go no context or call her parents out is unreliable and not the reality. For most when we want to maintain friendly ties, I think you're the ah just a bit here up. There really wasn't a need to get a book to educate a new norn infant toddler on your identity. You bought bought that book because you wanted to be represented and make it about identity. It's not your call for when a baby learns about this. This is just my two cents. But you don't need to keep pushing this book on all your new mom friends. The kids will learn about it when the situation calls for it. If your friends are true allies, they'll explain it in a non-biased manner when their kid asks why their friend Jenny from school has two moms or why those two men in the park are holding hands. You're forcing the concept of identity on kids for your benefit because it's important to you not because they actually need or understand it at that age. Trust your friends. If they're true allies, They'll do right by their kids and you as their kids grow and learn. As for the religious books. If it's a family baby shower and your friend is religious. Yes, there may be some religious books. And maybe she doesn't like those either. Her relatives would be the ah too if they know she doesn't want her kid to grow up religious. But it's probably fine if she does. YTA. You said it yourself. She often talks about coming from a conservative family so you should have known better. It sucks but these are the kinds of things you need to be considerate of. Not everyone is accepting and giving something like that at a large event is not okay and very well. Could be dangerous for the receiver depending on the crowd. I'm going with an unpopular esh. A newborn doesn't listen to stories and grasp concepts. They listen to the sound and tone of their parents' voice. And I read a stupid amount of books each year. So please know that is coming from an avid look lover and literacy proponent. But the gift seems more about you than a baby or what the parents of a newborn asked for on their registry. The mother of your friend is a bigot. So obviously she sucks. Your friend also shouldn't have followed you outside and chastised you for your gift or your confrontation with her mother. The bottom line is, you're significantly responsible for the situation. You knew the family was full of bigots and how they might react. Yet you chose to go off registry and buy something sure to draw their gross disapproval. Yes, 
You also should be able to defend yourself when someone treats you badly. As her mother did, and she, your friend, did not defend you or ask her mother to stop. Which also sucks. But anyone could see how that gift would be received in that company. And you chose to create the likelihood of that happening during her baby shower. Edit to add what I hope was obvious don't make other people's events all about you. The second edit thank you for the awards. Kind strangers. YTA. You made the baby shower about yourself. You could have gifted the book some other time. You said yourself you have conservative people in your family and you avoid the topic with them. You fully knew how your friend's mom was and still decided to made a point and by doing that creating tension and embarrassing your friend in the process. The question is not about your friend or your mom. It's about your attitude. You are questioning your friends as an ally from the very start of your post and seems like you do. That to test your friends more than being a nice gift for the baby. If you don't go around your family discussing the same topics with certain family members to avoid problems you should extended that to your friend's baby shower. I am betting if you had given that book after she would had cherished. But you decided to not only give it on the shower knowing her AH mom would see. But you chose to bite the rage bait she threw at you. Causing a scene. Her mom is an awful person no question about it. But you weren't a great friend either. So I'm this case YTA. NTA. Look I'm not going to say Tiffany is not an ally for not wanting to fight with her mom at her baby. Shower. It's hard to put your foot down against family sometimes and some people truly struggle with it. But I will say she's a hypocrite for going after you when you did the same as others. You bought something that while off the registry you thought she'd like. You didn't buy anything embarrassing. Why would she be embarrassed over the ideas she allegedly shares? Honestly I would distance myself. Don't reach out unless she does first. And TBH if she will not only not defend you but berate you for this I believe you should tell her. That you want to step back from your friendship as you can no longer trust her. I sure wouldn't. I would never feel comfortable discussing this issues with her if she only thinks like this when. It's convenient for her. Also her mom was the one making Sarki remarks. She could have just stayed quiet and not made a scene at the shower. Soft YTA. I really do understand where you're coming from. But you've said in comments that you yourself do not speak about LGBTQ plus topics with your own conservative family to keep the peace. Why would you not give your close friend who is pregnant and vulnerable likely wanting her family's support right now the same grace? NTA. Tiffany and Marcia need to work on themselves one queer woman to another. These folks are not doing their work as allies. They decided Tiffany's mom's comfort in her bigotry was more important than affirming their supposed values and friendship with you. With a big thank you so much, Auntie Zookeeper. I can't wait to share this with baby. Single quote. Nobody should ever ask you to apologize for being out and proud and trusting them to be the allies. They say they are, and job one of any ally with kids is to openly share those values with their children. She thanked me for the gifts but said I shouldn't have gone off registry with the books. I mean, registries exist for a reason avoiding drama being one of them. I'm going to go way against the grain of this thread and say YTA. You went against the registry. I can sympathize with your friend. My family is from the boonies. They're very set in their ways. I just don't bother with these things. We're never going to see eye to eye on these issues. If a friend gave an LGBTQ book to me in front of my family, I'd probably be a bit upset too. Not because of the book itself, but because it's just adding anxiety and tension to an event where it shouldn't be about that even. If the family is on the wrong side of things, because Tiffany herself has always appeared to be pro-LGBTQ plus rights. 
I didn't see the big deal. I figured it'd be a good book for an Ally's library. Your friend is probably an ally, in the sense that she knows there's nothing wrong with LGBTQ. And everyone should be able to love who they love and be who they are. That doesn't mean they have to think about arguing with their bigoted family during an unrelated event. Again, as someone who has similar family dynamics it's tiresome and I just straight up avoid talking about these things. Same with abortion I'm pro-choice. They're pro-life. We're not going to convince each other to change our minds. I fully support the LGBTQ community. But I am also not their champ. I will vote based on my beliefs. But I'm also not going to be the one to pick fights with my family about it. If that makes it so I'm not an ally, then whatever. I'm not going to change my stance. I still believe people should be freely able to love who they love. I imagine your friend is much the same. What you did, however, is force the issue into a place where she was likely trying to avoid any kind of confrontation. As someone who suffers pretty bad anxiety and avoids any kind of uncomfortable situation, this would 1000% get a, why didn't you just follow the registry? Reaction from me. It's not your day. It's your friend's. YTA. You absolutely put her in an awkward situation and would have to be incredibly obtuse to not see. How not realize ahead of time that it would. You made a statement in front of. And two. Her mother. Who doesn't share Tiffany's viewpoints. You made it an issue and put Tiffany in the middle of a stare down. Essentially. Between her mother and yourself. I don't share her mother's views. Either. That doesn't matter one iota. Whether anyone does or doesn't. You. And only you chose a public venue. One that honored Tiffany and her unborn child. To pick the fight and make it awkward for Tiffany. You need to apologize and learn some social decorum. Every place isn't the right place to put up the good fight, even though the fight is indeed good. NTA. I'm an ally and my parents. Friends and co-workers know it. Her friends and family do not. She should not have singled you out after the shower and she did not handle this well. Pregnancy hormones or not, your friend can talk the talk. But that seems to be all. YTA. In the comments, you said that you avoid the topic around your own conservative family. But apparently you're fine causing an issue in her family. You also said you knew her family was conservative and that you've had issues with the mom in the past. And said in another comment that you didn't think the book would be an issue. Which seems contradictory. Considering that you have experience with having to avoid the topic around your own family and knew. About her family's views. It sounds like you definitely knew the book could cause an issue and were being selfish. If you wanted to give her the book so badly, you could have done so outside of the baby shower instead of knowingly causing drama at what was supposed to be a happy event. Here's the problem. Op did know the type of people attending this baby shower. And while yes OP's gift was not intended to cause drama, she knew it had the potential to cause drama. Op openly admits to problems with her friend's mother. Obviously Op having her feelings hurt and feeling the need to challenge the mother. Expected her emotional pregnant friend to defend her. YTAIT sounds like the book was more for you than it was for your friend or the baby. Diapers would have been a much more useful gift. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our playlists full of similar content. Epic Aracast is like doom scrolling for your ears. Please like, share, and subscribe.